How are you doing? Matias, I want to take that voice with me no matter where I go. Is that okay? <laughs> All right, so um, uh, thank everyone for coming here and showing up today and seeing what we're, we're doing here in San Antonio. Um, they told me not to lean over the mic, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, there's one person I'd like to call. I'm going off script, Jana. Uh, Phil Crispin. Where is he? <laughs> Phil, we did it. We did it. We got the plants and it's here and it's real. So thank you, Phil. Thanks. Uh, my name is Mark Hernandez, as I said, uh, I'm Vice President of Global Manufacturing and Logistics. I was recently asked, you know, how to summarize this plant in one word. And, you know, after a lot of thought, it was about the future. It's about what does it mean for us, not only today, but going forward. And I believe that this plant is gonna lay the foundation for the future for, for Navistar for many years to come. We already know that 2022 is gonna be a transformative year uh, for the transportation industry as well as Navistar. We, we are under a new ownership where we're, the, the sky's the limit for us and, and how we can take advantage of the, the North American market. The choices we choose today are gonna to be important in how we lay out our future uh, going forward. So we're really excited to be here in San Antonio and have this be the basis for what we're doing. When I walk through this plant, uh, I, I don't know, many people uh, don't know me. I've been, I've been around for a while in commercial vehicles, uh, probably 30 years, um, building trucks. Uh, was a nuclear engineer at one time and never thought I would be building trucks, so that, that's a change. But uh, the, the technology in this plant uh, reminds me of the past when we had to build trucks from paper and, and everything wasn't automated and all the parts were on the assembly line uh, walking down the line. And then you come look at this facility and you say, wow, we've come a long way, okay? Uh, you know, I wanna, I wanna take you on a, a, a walk back to the, to the 90s and maybe the 80s uh, for some of us. Uh, maybe some of you won't understand this analogy, but if those of you are old enough to remember the Walkman and you were uh, fortunate enough to have a 90 minute tape, which meant 45 minutes on each side, and those of you with the first generations know that you had to flip over the tape because it wouldn't play in the other direction. Uh, you know, that's what I think the past is. Now with the cloud, with information, with data, with technology, with digitization in our facilities, we're looking at the future. And is the future here today? No. We're just laying the groundwork for the future. We're in step two of 20. And so within San Antonio, you'll see that the technology, and I hope you saw it on, on the client tours, are setting us up to be uh, for the future of, of uh, advanced analytics, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, for the future to come, not only in manufacturing, but in supply chain as well, okay? Uh, when you look at the facility and we talk about digitization, it's not about uh, making things you know, IT friendly and making them happen faster. You have to have good business processes and that's where Rod was alluding to, we lean towards lean manufacturing. Those will provide the robust business process and we just use digitization to make them happen faster. So when you have a good process, we want it to happen as fast as possible and yield the results. We will use uh, Industry 4.0 technologies here, Internet of Things. All our equipment be, would be uh, connected as well as our, our, uh, our information flow so that we can react to situations on the assembly line as they happen in real time and not wait till the production meeting the next day after we produce 50 vehicles that may have an issue. We will know it on the first vehicle and we will take action so the quality level here in San Antonio will be very, very high. Uh, collecting all this data will allow us to utilize that data for analytics so that we can predict issues, whether it's machine downtime, whether it's uh, quality issues going forward, uh, we will definitely leverage that going forward. And this plant gives us the good footprint that uh, the floor mats uh, that we can take it to our, uh, the five other manufacturing facilities within Navistar. So this will be the benchmark, the pilot, the, the foundation for what we do going forward. The other piece of this facility, I hope you saw in the last station, or depending where you started on the tour, is sustainability. Uh, we aim to be a zero discharge facility. You know, the world itself, and, and, and probably more so today, uh, with gas prices rising, is that you know electrification is becoming very important. But it's very important on the manufacturing side. You know that we we have facilities that have zero discharge, that we we recycle all our waste, or uh, we don't produce, or we reduce the uh, amount of that we're using here. And this plant has all that, and then some. 
We have fuel cell forklifts that uh, I don't know if they talked about in, back in the, in the logistics center. We're looking at every different uh, level of technology to, to move us forward. It's not just about saying we're sustainable, it's about meaning we're, we're sustainable. And for me, I have uh, inbound logistics as part of this. It's looking at the supply chain. Our customers that carry our goods, we want them, we want them to be cognizant of their, their carbon footprint going forward uh, in this world. So, you know, we will, we will push those things forward as we come out with electric trucks that are built right here in, in San Antonio uh, to move the world. Okay. So, <clears throat> with that being said, you know, we, we do, uh, for those of you who do know, we have an advanced technology center that's just up the road. Uh, where we do a lot of testing of our vehicles, and, and Michael's team is uh, very well engaged there. So it's very important that we're very close to our manufacturing facility. It's, it's eight miles away. In fact, my office is over there, so I stay out of Rod's hair so he can build trucks. Um, but it's very important that that proximity of, of there, because the, like I said, technology is going to change in this industry you know, immensely over the next few years. And so having some, some uh, a location like that so close to the assembly plant will provide us the, the footprint for the future for autonomy, for electrification, uh, for connected vehicles going forward. So for me, I'm excited, uh, you know, to see what the future brings. Today was, a, was just a path getting to today, but you know, now, now the journey begins of what, what comes with our industry in the future. Thank you.